Today I want to talk to you about e-bike battery fires. Now, as you probably know, e-biking and the e-biking community is growing and expanding quickly. And there are many more people interested in getting into uh, getting involved in e-biking, but they're still a little hesitant to make the jump to e-bikes because of some of the news about the possibility of e-bike fires. Now, the reality is that e-bike battery fires are rel relatively rare. And in my opinion, the media has blown the fires way out of propor proportion. Uh, in fact, most of the e-bike fires that are reported aren't even e-bikes at all. They're, they're, they're mostly cheap knockoff scooters or mopeds, but e-bike battery fires do happen. And when they do, they're very difficult to extinguish. There are all kinds of reasons that battery e-bike fires can happen. And at the end of this video, I'll include a link to a video addressing why e-bike batteries uh, have the fires happen and how to avoid them. But for now, I want to show you the three main items used to help contain an e-bike fire when it does happen and keeping them from spreading. You know, and then uh, I'll show you the precautions that I use to contain an e-bike fire. The first thing to know about e-bike battery fires uh, is they're, they're very hot and explosive. And because they're a chemical reaction, they generate their own oxygen, which, you know, makes them very difficult to extinguish. Most of the times, these, these types of fires just keep burning until all of the chemical reaction is complete. Even the standard fire extinguishers known as the ABC all-round type fire extinguishers are pretty much useless on the battery fire itself. However, um, they work on the surrounding combustibles. But the chemical reaction of the e-bike battery fire will keep burning until the chemical reaction is complete. One of the biggest concerns for uh, e-bike battery fires is to keep the fire from spreading to any other uh, combustible materials around the battery fire, like your home. So to start off, one of the most common items sold to help control an e-bike battery fire is a fire blanket. Now, uh, these fire blankets can be great for covering and extinguishing a, a stovetop fire or other small fire by covering the fire and eliminating the oxygen from the fire. Unfortunately, with an e-bike battery fire, uh, the, the battery generates its own oxygen from the chemical reaction, so you can't really smother it. Uh, in fact, when the local fire departments are dispatched to electric vehicle fires, they spread a giant fire blanket over the electric vehicle, uh, not to extinguish the fire, but to keep the fire from spreading to the surrounding areas. Then they use water on the surrounding area to keep the surrounding combustibles from catching fire and burning. And uh, then they just let the electric car fire a vehicle burn itself out after the chemical reaction is done. So the bottom line regarding the use of fire uh, of a fire blanket on an e-bike fire is that, in my opinion, it's basically useless. The chemical reaction will explode fireballs from under the fire blanket to any surrounding combustibles. Now, the next items are fire bags and fire pouches. Now, some of these bags and pouches are, are better than others, but there are some things to know uh, before you re rely completely on these bags and pouches to contain a chemical e-bike e battery fire. Now, the first thing to know is that an e-bike battery fire will build up pressure when it burns. So you want to make sure that the bag or pouch is large enough to allow the fumes to expand and allows venting for the very toxic gases to escape. Along with that, uh, some, of the, some of the fire probably will escape, the fireballs. And second, what I've learned is 
most of these bags and pouches will contain an e-bike -ba e battery fire for a very short period of time. Um, they'll burn, the, the, these bags will, and pouches will burn through and then the fire can spread to anything ar around it, any, com any combustibles. So they might give you a few seconds or even a few minutes to move the bag outside if you can get to it. It's really hot. But that's only if you're in the area when the fire starts. So while the fire pouches and bags um, you buy uh, will help for a short period of time, I found that they won't contain an e-bike battery fi fire completely. So the next items that are sold and used to con contain the e-bike battery fires are um, steel metal containers like an ammo can or steel toolboxes and that are vented to allow expanding gases to escape. Now keep in mind the exterior of these metal boxes can heat up to over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit so make sure it's on a or not around any uh, combustible surfaces or you can get a fireproof container made specifically for lithium ion uh, e-bike batteries uh, these work you know very well but some of the fire still can escape so they should not always they shouldn't you know you shouldn't have them around combustibles these fire boxes can also be you know fairly expensive so just take note these purpose-built fire boxes work well but what I found is nothing is 100 percent so even when using one of those highly rated uh, fire boxes, purpose-built fire boxes, I recommend that you still store your batteries uh, in an area away from combustibles and have a fire extinguisher on hand and close by to keep any escaping uh, fire embers from contacting any surrounding combustibles. With knowing all this, I use a three-step process to contain any possible e-bike battery fires. Being aware that a uh, fire bag is only a short-term protection uh, for containment of the e-bike battery fire, I use it as a first-step deterrent. It's my first line of defense, but not, on, not my only line of defense. When I'm uh, charging and storing my e-bike batteries, I put them in the fire bags and then I put them with the fire bags in a vented metal toolbox which is lined with fireplace fire bricks. Then I take the complete smaller toolbox and I put it inside of my large rolling toolbox. Now this is probably a little overkill, I know, but it gives me peace of mind. In addition, I have uh, shut off a shutoff timer to shut off the chargers when the batteries are fully charged. Now remember, an e-bike battery fire can heat the metal containers to over a thousand degrees. So still keep everything away from combustibles. Also, as I said, my rolling toolbox is on wheels, so it's up off of the floor. So there'll be no damage to the concrete floor. Now, as I've said, I take good care of my batteries with good maintenance and use only high quality UL rated batteries uh, with matching chargers. But I use these safety precautions because, you know, you never know what could happen. I've never had a problem, but if, if there ever was, I want to be prepared. 